question, can I use mustard to laser engrave metal with my Glowforge? Um, today we're going to give that a shot and see how that goes. I have, uh, I'm going to actually compare it to a chemical that's actually made to laser mark. It's not engraving, it's marking um, the metal. You can't actually engrave it with the Glowforge, it marks it. So we, first off we're going to try the uh, mustards. I've got a, a jug of uh, yellow French's mustard here. We're going to try that. And we've got this, uh, I got this off of uh, Amazon. It's $30 for a two ounce can of uh, Brilliance or mark the metal with the laser. That's what it's made for. Um, so we're going to go ahead and give those a try and repair the two and uh, see how they compare to each other and actually can you actually do it with the mustard. Will that actually work? So here we go. Okay, the first thing we need to do, we need to get these uh, knives, make sure they're clean, free of any oils or greases or fingerprints. So we're going to use isopropyl alcohol on them. Just clean them up here real good. Uh, get all the grease from my fingers off of them. Okay. And we'll make sure that's dry. Now the first thing we're going to use is this Brilliance. Um, shake that up. Shake that up. This stuff actually has to be dry before it goes into the laser. All right, so you spray that on there real well. Make sure you cover the whole thing. Okay, we're going to let that dry, and then with the uh, other knife, we're going to go ahead and put mustard on it. And the mustard, I guess, from what I understand, it works better when it's wet. So, we're going to go ahead and make sure we got that covered real well, spread it out. And then we'll put that in while it's wet then. Okay, now that the Brilliance is uh, dry, one thing you don't do, I found out the hard way, is uh, touch that at all. Uh, once it's dry, it's like, uh, it's almost like powder on there. It, uh, it comes right off. And then the mustard's still wet here, so I'm going to go ahead and place them here in the Glowforge. We're going to close the lid, and we're going to go over to the computer and uh, get these things ready to engrave. Okay. I know I said uh, engraving, but it's not really engraving, it's just marking. Um, these lasers aren't powerful enough to engrave metal, so they're just marking the metal with a chemical reaction for whatever you put on it here. So we're going to hit create, new blank design, as you can see, uh, you can see the knives on here with the camera. We're going to go ahead and hit set focus on these. Just gonna focus on uh, on one of these. I'll focus on this one here, and I'll get our laser set up at the right height. And we're gonna go ahead and hit the text, insert text. And that's a premium thing. If you don't think premium is worth it, uh, I do. I think it's. Uh, I think I'm paying fifteen dollars a month. I got into it early. We're just gonna hit, hit something generic here. We're gonna hit Smiths. Just. Okay, is that going to fit on there? Looks like it will. Okay, so I'm going to hit copy. Alright. Paste a new one in here. I'm going to stick that down on the mustard knife. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and go with that. I'm going to hit... Uh, Enter settings over here. I already have stainless engrave picked out. It is uh, speed is 200, full power. With the mustard, I know you got to do two passes. Um, so we're just going to hit them both at two passes. I'm going to hit the print button. And we'll let it do its thing.
Okay, it's all done. We're going to see how this turned out. Um, as you can see here, I didn't line that up real well, but that really wasn't my point. I'm not going to do anything with these. These are just for uh, experimental purposes only. Okay, so you see this white stuff just comes right off when you, you rub across it. And I'm, what I'm going to do is wash these two off in the sink and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here are the results. The uh, top one here, that is with the mustard. And the bottom one is with the brilliance. They both turned out pretty well. Um, I'm happy with both of them. The brilliance did come out a little bit darker, uh, but the mustard does work, and it's a heck of a lot cheaper than the brilliance. The brilliance on uh, Amazon was $29. It's a two ounce bottle of it. Um, I have tried the mustard on things like uh, sockets and it didn't really work real well on the sockets uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try both of those on uh, sockets and see which one turns out better I'll do maybe I'll do another video of that but on these knives here I mean there isn't much difference like I say a little bit darker with the brilliance but the difference in price uh, it, it's really not worth uh, spending twenty nine dollars for two ounces of this stuff I mean if you're gonna do this for somebody you gotta factor in the price of this stuff here I mean, I don't know how many knives you can do with this. I'm sure you can do quite a few, but it's definitely a factor in whether you want to go ahead and uh, do that or not. Well, thanks for watching the video. Hope this helps uh, some people out there decide what they want to do.